Hi, I'm Anna Denton Jones of Refreshing Law Limited, and in today's session, I want to talk about something I've had to look into recently. It relates to the circumstance where an employee's returning to work following a period of ill health. Now, the employer might be concerned that that person's returning to work too soon. Indeed, they might be even trying to return to work before the end of the period that the GP has signed them off work for. Historically, what we would have done is sent that person back to the GP and asked the GP to certify that person as fit to return to work. The problem we've got now is that the legislation uh, surrounding the fit note uh, that came into being a couple of years ago doesn't um, deal with that situation. And GPs are perfectly entitled now to say, you know, I'm not um, going to... Um, provide such a document and you might find that surgeries are actually reluctant to book somebody in if that's why they're trying to book an appointment. Um, now that may be political, it may be um, a desire to redu reduce the burden of people queuing up to go and see the GP but it puts the employer in quite a difficult spot. Indeed there's a there's a document that's published by the Department for Work and Pensions um, called Getting the most out of the fit note and in that document it stresses and I'll read it to you your employee can go back to work at any time including before the end of their fit note without going back to see their doctor even if their doctor has indicated that they need to assess them again this will not breach your employer's liability compulsory insurance providing a suitable risk assessment has taken place so the burden shifts back onto you as employer to decide what to do with this person that you may have some concerns about um, now an option may be to pay a GP privately to provide a report uh, another option may be to uh, refer the person to occupational health if you can do that quite quickly but certainly as an employer you should be looking at your risk assessment process and deciding um, whether or not there are things that maybe you need to do to ensure that that person is eased back into work and isn't putting themselves at risk. Now that might be something straightforward as the manager simply keeping more of an eye on that person. It might be looking at tweaking duties and easing that person back in until you are sure that they are well enough to be there. Um, it might be sitting down and reviewing the position with that person. Obviously it's going to depend very much why they were off work, what the medical condition was, as to what position the employer is going to be in. But a, an option could be that the employer actually suspends somebody on full pay pending that occupational health report. But as you'll see, the cost of all of this is shifting to the employer. If anyone's got any questions about this issue, please do do get in touch. Uh, my email is a d e n t o n at refreshinglawltd or one word dot co dot uk. Thank you very much.